Hey, Kev, it's time to record a new Smodcast. Fuck off. I'm listening to one of the other great shows on the Smodcast Podcast Network. Scott? There's so many to choose from. You damn skibbit, there's so many to choose from. I'm on five every week myself, man. Uh, Hollywood Babylon on Monday, Smodcast with you on Tuesday, Jay and Silent Bob get old on Wednesday with Jay Muse, Fat Man on Batman every Thursday, and then I wrap up the week with Edumacation with Andy McElfrish. There's so many to choose from. Hell yeah, son, and those aren't the only podcasts. Those are just the ones I'm involved with. What about the podcasts of Smodco that don't feature me, man, like Tell em Steve Dave? Last Week on Earth with Ben Glebe. I Sell Comics with Ming and Mike. There's so many to choose from. Hey, man, there's also Film School Fridays or NetHeads or Get Up on This, Team Jack. There's so many to choose from. The Breaks, man. Waking from the American Dream. Bagged and Boarded. Phoebe. Soundbite Nation. These are all the shows you could be listening to over at Smodcast.com, Scott. There's so many to choose from. And if audio's not enough for you, man, if you're just like, no, I want the thick dick of video as well, man, we can go to our YouTube channel, which is C Smod, or you can watch Comic Book Men, our show on AMC, following The Walking Dead and The Talking Dead every Sunday. Sunday night. There's so many to choose from. That's right, Scott. There are so many to choose from. So get choosing, kids. Go to smodcast.com. Start getting picky, man. Stick these sweet, sweet oral sounds into your ear pussies. There's so many to choose from. You said that already. There's so many to choose from. Tom Hanks, he can poke fun at himself. I've made over 20 movies, and five of them are good. All right. Tom Hanks enjoys collecting typewriters. If it's yeah. not Tom Hanks, that's get him saying that. We're like. <laughs> 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 Tell him, Steve, Dave. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Tell him, Steve, Dave. A little bit early. A little bit of a treat. Something else for you to be thankful for. Mm-hmm. I like you it. can actually thank uh, included in your prayers. Now for Thanksgiving, right? Wait, it'll, go up, it'll go up Wednesday night. Okay. So Thanksgiving Day, you know, when you're before you eat same your turkey and shit. Grace. Say your grace, yeah. Right. You're like, and, you know, thanks for uh, early tell them Steve early Dave. Early tell them Steve Dave. I like it. It's positive. Mm-hmm. I dig it. The reason being is that we would not want any confusion between the regular weekly edition of Tell them Steve Dave and the... Uh, Christmas, very, the very, uh, the very much anticipated uh, Christmas special. Yes, yes, Q. Tell them Steve Dave dot Bandcamp dot com. Right out of the <laughs> gate, we got to tell you that's where you're going to want to go. You got to get it. It's Don't a tradition let, now. Not even a lot of me into it. Nope. Okay. Right away. Let's get let's let's get it let's get it out there. Right. It's out today. Window. It's not out today. It's out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's out tomorrow. Well, I, don't next day. It, I don't we're putting it out at six like the stores we're doing. We're not doing that? No, we no, gotta we gotta remain we, uh, we gotta remain true to okay. with tradition, Q. <clears throat> we're not the greedy corporate types. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even Q, you can't shop. Uh Thanksgiving shop is shopping is illegal in three states. Is it? Mm-hmm. Illegal. Rhode Island, Maine, and Massachusetts are barred from opening on the holiday. Uh, leftover uh, blue laws, which prohibit large supermarkets, big box stores, and department stores from opening on Thanksgiving. One of uh, the wives of one of my friends is working at Toys R Us, and I was talking to her <clears throat> this past week, and she says that the staff is in an uproar, and they're considering legal action. Against the, the, against the Toys Thanksgiving... The Thanksgiving hours? Because they're forcing them to work. They're basically saying you have to work. Where are they going to take it to the highest court? Well, 
I don't know. I didn't, I wasn't that interested that I that I that I dug in deep. But uh, you're did. off, and that's all that matters. I'm mm-hmm. never off. <laughs> oh bullshit! I'm never you're off. not off on Thanksgiving. I'm not in the Why, office. Is this, where's this dude's cross? How'd you get into the fucking store today? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you make it to the door? Uh, <laughs> the <went> sideways. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I have bullshit! Work to do, you're telling me you're filming on fucking Thanksgiving? Not filming now. What are you doing? Writing. I gotta work. I gotta write. But you could write. You could write. Um, maybe take a couple extra hours on a on Black Friday or the Wednesday night and do it. I don't think to, to give yourself you a have day a, off. A clear idea of what my my schedule is like. I don't have spare time like that. Really, no. you don't play video games? No. Uh, I bought PlayStation uh, uh, and an Xbox. I haven't played them yet. You haven't played any of the games yet. I play Dead Space to to see if the system works, and that's it. You're stretching yourself too thin, then, man. I agree. I you're agree. Gonna, you're, well, you're going to be in a fucking pine box, oh, and what'll it, what'll it get you though? Know, all all this, and you, you didn't fucking sit down and enjoy Thanksgiving dinner. I, I didn't play yeah. video games. I know. I agree with you. I agree. It's time to change right now. We'll get on your fucking device your, and tell <laughs> and tell whoever's fucking waiting on you for this work. Right. It ain't going to happen. Take yeah, a yeah. stand like the Toys R Us fucking employees. Yeah. Take it to the <laughs> highest court in the land. <laughs> Come on, man. I like, I'm going to uh, be sucking an apple out of a turkey's ass hole this year. <laughs> yeah, I'm not fucking letting that, that apple get yapped again. No way. No, that's mine. I don't know. I, you know what? I, I mean, I, I, it's just me, but I'm always kind of like, I don't know if you, if you manage, if people manage their time properly. I'm always, yeah. at, I'm always feeling that maybe they're a lot less taxed than they may be if they just properly, like, gave themselves. I hope you're right, windows. man. I do hope you're right. What do you mean you hope them right? Because then that means that there's hope for me, but uh, I don't think there is. <laughs> it's a hopeless cause. You're too busy. I am too busy, yes. Too many irons in the fire. Yes. Yeah. But that's all right. It's okay. It won't last forever, Walt. I had the uh, absolute pleasure, and it was a legitimate pleasure, of uh, hanging out um, with one of the members of Sync. This week, the boy band. The boy wow. Band. Yes. Uh, and um, which member? Joey. Joey Fatone, the funny one. As I believe they called him back in the day. He was the funny one. Uh, he he's you know he's in his late thirties. <laughs> Joey now. Fat one is what they call him today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's late thirties now. Uh, wife, two kids. Completely like you know. All is those... he set for life off the internet? I believe money? he's set for life. Yes. Um, he doesn't. He he doesn't have to work on Thanksgiving like a poor no, Q. No, he is. Uh, he doesn't share the same lot as Q and some <laughs> Toys R Us workers. <laughs> <You> kidding me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I, you know, and I, I was talking to him a little bit, and I wasn't. He was just talking about his life a little bit post in sync, and it just seems. Uh, you would love you. You would love him, Walt. He's a good guy. Complete Family Guy, like you're a really good guy, like huge Superman fan, like it's collecting Superman artifacts is his thing. Oh yeah. Um, and uh, talk about a well balanced, like a guy that's like did it. Where'd you meet him? Did that stuff. He's a fan of Practical Joker, so we we had him come to set. Oh yeah. He brought his daughter to the set and like watched and stuff like that. And uh, I mean, no, there was none of that. I gotta chase it. There was none of that. He was like, like you know, what I mean? chase it. What do you, mean? you know how some people like they 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 need to be famous. They always need to be. You know what I mean? They're like, oh yeah, I know some people like sure. that very well, <laughs> <laughs> like Yiming Cheng. Uh, but uh, like, this is a guy that was just completely centered and like, you know what? Like, I fucking was in the hottest band on the planet when I was a younger man, and like, he's just relaxed now, which is happy with his kids. He's bringing his kids to see Annie, the Broadway play. Like, it was it was really something to see, man. A dude like that well-centered who had kind of gone through years and years of working hard so Did i'm hoping him how much pussy used to get from you're his kids hoping, you're hoping one day there's there's room there's that's you one day well i'll never be as successful as that dude well i mean but Nobody. you'll find you'll find that that uh, inner i'm hoping to one not day chase. this work will be over and i'll be able to sit back and look at it and be like it was all right man it was a little tough in the middle of it but but it was worth it that's what i'm hoping for walt um, I think that. Oh God! Please, I think please that, say nice things. No, yeah, I'm I think, fragile. I think, you'll, uh, I think you'll find through the hard nice work, <laughs> the hard work that Joey put in. 
Yeah. And the hard work that you put in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that pot, not pot of gold, not so much as on like monetary. Yeah. But that 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 inner peace. Yeah. I hope so. You'll you'll find it. I hope so. What about me? Well, <laughs> <laughs> the hard work part. <laughs> um. So we never that just doesn't happen to the comic book man. No, we no. don't have famous people being like, "Hey, can you meet my my kids?" Like, do you know what? Do you know what? The I mean, I know it. I know it's got to fucking drive Ming absolutely crazy. But the comic book, the secret stash, the comic book men, yeah. have now become the third most popular fucking act in Red Bank. Really? Yeah. Who are we behind now? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, the Cake Boss has just come into town and opened up yesterday oh. to a line down the street. Really? Wait, there's a Cake Boss store in Red yeah, Bank? Yeah, Carlos is Cake Boss is now in uh, in Red Bank on Broad Street. Wow. And um, a line to get in, Q. Really? And you've seen how hard it is to get into the stash. <laughs> Right? <laughs> you mean Ming Chen's here? <laughs> it just, it's just it's just not the same when we're not in the same universes, uh, obviously. Right. Uh, which is hey, I'm not complaining, but I almost I almost take a a, a, bit, a bit of glee in it to see Ming kind of squirm as I throw it in his face. <laughs> what did you? Yeah, <laughs> that he's number three in the totem pole now behind the prostitute that opened up a store um, down the street. <laughs> and the, what was that girl's name? <laughs> uh, um, uh, she was sleeping with a governor or something? Yeah, Spitzer's girl. <laughs> oh, uh, well, uh, I know who you're talking about. Elliot Spitzer's uh, the madam, Why right? can't I remember her name? She's really, she's nice, actually. She's really, she's very friendly. Oh, I thought you were um, talking about the North Pole, the, 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 <laughs> the, no, no one knows the holiday themed strip club that <laughs> but I No, there's I a there's a, a prostitute or a call girl that opened up a store. Why can't I remember her name? Uh, in Red Bank on Broad Street. And I I say I argue that possibly now we're number three on the on the most on the must see list when people come to Red Bank now behind Carlos's <laughs> the prostitute and all oh, yeah, the those fucking idiots at the stash. I I would argue that you guys are still the number one. That being said, I how love... can how could you say that when you, if you saw the line yesterday? Well, is the you couldn't say at that with... the shop? Is he there or oh he the cake boss been. is definitely kicking our balls in. It doesn't matter who's there. Yeah, this store is called Cake Boss. It's just no, it's called Carlos. Everybody know who watches that show know uh, okay, it, it knows right. it is Carlos's. I think it's called Carlos's. I can't re- quite remember now what it's called. But really? it's right. I actually took my kids up there. Uh, yeah, they like that show, right? You they like. They did like that show. I, they. I think they've. For no reason, not like they don't like it now, but I. I don't think they watch it uh, with such a okay. regular. Um, regularity now. But <coughs> when I was bringing up to Ming, I was like, "Do you see that line for the Cake Boss?" He was like, "Yeah." Why don't you have those lines? <laughs> well, why don't we? I don't say why don't you, but I was like, yeah, we don't got those you, lines. You don't care. <laughs> no, I don't care, but the uh, but you could see it. And his, like, he didn't want to talk about it, though. Oh, Ming. No, it, it bothered him that much, huh? Nothing, it bo- I don't think it bothered him. But Ashley, I, I, Ashley Dupree. That's hey, it. Damn, why he did not he, he didn't want to hear about it. He didn't want to talk about it. He was. You think she's the only one who can suck a dick? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be number two if it kills me. Give <laughs> <laughs> me socks on. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, I, I think we're. <laughs> I think we're just destined to always be the afterthought. Yeah. In terms the runner up. Of the runner up. Which is, you know what? There ain't no shame in being a runner-up at the Olympics, is there? You win, you win a silver or a bronze. Yeah, you shouldn't have. You should. You still hold your head up high. Uh, uh, fuck! If one more famous act comes to town, we're done. We can't even. <laughs> we can't even claim the bronze anymore. <laughs> It'll kill me. Oh, oh Jersey Lish just opens up a hair salon oh, in no. Red Bank. We're fucked. <laughs> yeah, it's over for us. <laughs> you know, but I mean, you know what? You're not helping the cause, though, bro. You're never that? around, man. People come in. They're always like, "Where's beard guy? Where's fucking beard guy?" Never <laughs> really? around, no. Yeah, you know, mm. maybe we could fucking overtake the prostitute if you fucking showed up once in a while. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll start coming in a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to measure our popularity versus hers, but I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and assume. <laughs> Especially, she actively like avoids uh, any sort of uh, notice. Is that she? Yeah, she has like a, she's a rich husband. I oh, think okay. he, I don't know what he does, but real rich husband. And I think she like she did one interview for the the store uh, when for she first store. opened uh, up. What's the kind of store is it again? It's a lingerie shop. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And she's Shocking. in there working? Like she's yeah. running the restaurant? I thought it may have been well, a parrot <laughs> slash lingerie store. Get the Christmas pod if you don't know what I'm talking Two about. Two Christmas yeah. pod jokes so far in this yeah. episode. Yeah, you cannot, you can't keep up if you don't have the Christmas yeah. pod. <laughs> the good people who do come in to see us, though, are stunned that we actually work here. They say that all the other stores that are like on TV, yeah, staff is not there no more. Like the uh, pawn shop guys. Yeah. They, yeah. That well, day. if we made fucking 70000 an episode, I wouldn't fucking be here either, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> You're still not here. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how much or little I make. <laughs> I'm not going to be here. But, like, let's say let's say something happened where, like, you like the it took off and the, and the store's making seventy grand. In, uh, you're making seventy grand an episode. Or even you're making chumly money. Let's say you're making twenty grand an episode. Right. And they, they churn out like forty episodes a you season. You think so. that I would leave my post? You think this sentry would fucking go off duty? Yeah, yeah, you, know, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. I don't know if Mike would either. You know though. what though? You think I, Mike I, would? I've had. I um. I don't know, but I mean, this has been the most trying point of my uh, tenure here at the stash, and for I won't get into it, but. You know, like say these last two months, if, yeah. you, if you had a couple million, you might. You I might, might be early. like, I might be like, this century's fucking going down. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the century? <laughs> oh my lord, it's some of the most stupidest shit too, man. But that's temporary, right? Like that's almost over. I well, don't know. I mean, <laughs> every I got, time he thinks it's over, uh, I got something real is that. Yeah, uh, I got my bathroom key confiscated. Wait, what? Did you? Yeah. So Wait, that, really, that really, that really. Wait, served taco. <laughs> No, no. There was no. a there was a fucking bathroom at the office, oh, like okay. a, like a thing, you know that was much cleaner than the surf taco bathroom. The surf taco share. bathroom smells. It's like It's unbelievable. It's what? It's unusable. They wash yeah. the floor with piss. <laughs> I, yeah. I think they, <laughs> it, like the, I think they use fucking chum to fucking wash the floor. <laughs> it's, it's it. It doesn't matter whether I'm the first person in there in the day, or the or the or the first person in there after they clean, or the or the last person in there after a line of hobos pissed in there. It smells the fucking worst, no matter what. It's, it's horrible. Ungodly, you know. But the girls' bathroom does not smell like that. And I only know that because after hours, before there. I had my other key, my right. other bathroom key, I would use the ba- the girls' bathroom. You know, as long as the, you know the, the sure. restaurant. Sure, dressed as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it's a long, lengthy fucking uh, diversion when I have to go to the bathroom. I have to dress like a woman. Right, yeah. But when you gotta go, you gotta go. Right. Your wife's like, "Why are you getting home at two thirty in the morning?" <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the girls' bathroom is definitely. But the boy is far cleaner. But the boys' bathroom is unbelievable. It's so horrible. Yeah, it's definitely like, uh, like a what's it? What you like a, a house where they kill cows? What's that called? The slaughterhouse. Oh, like it, it, it smells unbelievable. It's but, horrible. Uh, so I got caught by the landlord using the bathroom over there, and he demanded that uh, my key be confiscated. Why? I don't know. Doesn't Ryusuke have an office there? Yeah, but no one put up a fight for me. That's uh, fucking shocking, really? Yeah. They're like, just give the key back. It'll be better for for everyone? Yeah. Can you get another copy? You're not going to take that shit lying down, are you? Oh, my God. It's really put me in a bad mood, though. Ah, uh, dude, I'm sorry. Like, I was miserable for a couple of days without that, because it was a nice, <laughs> ask, clean bathroom. Ask right yourself now. what Joey Fatone would do in this situation and fucking... Well, where do you go? I don't know. He's centered about it. He's nice. Maybe he just wouldn't... Maybe he would just... He would just use the shit hole. Yeah. He would just you, you go into that bathroom that smells like you know that he probably needs to take an AIDS <laughs> test after he's done using it. I don't even think Joey would do that. I know probably he's a not. fucking god in your eyes, yeah, but yeah. I don't think I do <laughs> not think he would. I don't think he would sit on that fucking toilet over there. Right. I think he'd be like, I'm a multimillionaire. Why am I working at a comic store? <laughs> <laughs> Every day with like, I sure wish I had that. I know, I, 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 Q, I know it's the equivalent. It's the, the perfect definition of what you call white man's problems. Yeah, definitely. But you ask my wife though. I was fucking beyond rage oh, last night sorry, when I could, when that key was taken away from me. I think I, I deserve to be able to shit in a fucking clean bathroom yeah, during work agree. hours. I don't think I, I don't think I'm asking for much. I kept. How did the guy find out that you had the key? He just he happened to notice. Yeah. And he's like, "Who's that guy?" Yeah. And it's not like like look. If you look like me. I would, I, honestly, I would understand. People would be like, "Why? Where's that guy? He does not work in this building. Yeah. He's in the bathroom a long Living it up. time. He's got his own key." <laughs> like if you if if you look like me and the and the the landlord's like, "Who the fuck is this dude? And why is he using the bathroom?" I get it. You're a clean cut guy. It's not like you're a fucking slob. It's not like you know you it's go in there like and in you take a time. bath. Yeah, it's not. I mean, I like maybe twice a week, right? You know, but at this particular time. 
Gotcha. Mm. Caught me, and uh, an invest- investigation was was started. Yeah. And a key was confiscated. Uh, you were placed under arrest. <laughs> How fucked up would that be? How could you be placed under arrest? Not legal. <laughs> Trespassing. <Yeah. laughs> I can't believe no one fought for you then. That's, no one, that's cold. No, this was this was fucking the Germans coming to the front door and mm-hmm. fucking throwing me out the fucking right into their fucking clutches. Not I got no survivors listen to our show. <laughs> They're like, wait a second. <laughs> No one fucking. We fu- were the toilets. <laughs> no one like, went to bat for me, though, man. Everybody was like, "Give the key back." Who are you talking about, Ming? N- I'm not no. saying name. You know he's. You know he's talking about. Uh, so just get another key. You know he should I'm have been like, "Fuck it, you, I'm I keeping think the I, key." I, you know what? I, I think you didn't feel it, like you should have had to fight right. for it. And now I don't feel. I don't feel. I feel like I'm. I'm losing. A, I'm. I'm going to wage a battle that even if I win, I know I lost because no one cared enough to uh, fucking fight for me for that key. It's fucking depressing as hell, bro. In protest, you should just shit your pants and walk around with it all day. Wow, that's fucking. That's that's sorry, sucks. dude. I mean, I, I mean, I think uh, I. I don't know why. I, I guess I just feel that. Um, it's it's it's. I felt that like over the course of the years of service, I thought maybe I deserved a, key, a bathroom that was not even clean, just didn't smell like shit. Oh, yeah. And it does. That, that bathroom is fucked. I know this. This is the bathroom that that, that customer you had actually pissed all over the floor. <laughs> I was like, sorry, had an accident. Yeah. yeah. And, for, and for no one to back you up, that's pretty. Yeah. You're like, this is, isn't this the least I could? Like, I expect to get paid. <laughs> I expect to be able to use a bathroom that isn't going to get me sick. <laughs> but you know what, though? Hey, like, like, like Joey. Yep. You put your head down. Right. You cover your nose. And you use the bathroom and <laughs> serve taco then. I yeah. have I have shit in that toilet. Yeah, have and you? it's a fucking hard. Mm-hmm. It's it's a horror show. It is. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how. I mean, I want. I mean, I, I don't want to get Surf Taco annoyed at us, but I am kind of like I don't know if there's anything they can do at this. point. I think it's the smell coming up because they clean it every right. night. I I, I just think not... that that needs to be bulldozed and just yeah. started over. I just, right. there, I just think there. I just think there's I just think that there's too much history. <laughs> In that in that bathroom, this is like the Amityville house. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is something out. in there. <laughs> I just think it's time to just fucking knock it down and start over with new porcelain and new mm-hmm. tiles, and um, yeah, I mean, just start over. <laughs> I think Mike needs a new title as Bucket Man. <laughs> <laughs> Can uh... Mike never even had the key. No, yeah. no. I fucking and he's in here a long time too, right? <laughs> yeah, it was only my key. You wouldn't share with him? You he didn't... never asked, <laughs> and I never offered. He knows his <laughs> place. <laughs> he knows his place. Uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, movies for a brief second, because I, I ordered a movie series based on your... Okay. I had seen the Phantasm movies before. Okay. But as a child, and like on Channel 11, mm-hmm. like chopped up, and I only saw the first two. So I ordered them. It's a box set? No, but they were like nine bucks each. They okay. were just like, there's four of them. Yeah, I didn't know Oblivion? that. Oblivion? There's, uh, yeah, there's, Oblivion's the fourth one. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I forget the name of the third one. Are they all good or are they shit? Uh, Do they get shitty? I, re- I remember the first one being great and the next three being like, oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> oh, really? Because I, I, re- I thought two was the the... Well, two they went. They had a much bigger budget. And they had a big release for it. You know, it was yeah. a big deal. Um, and uh, they went so far as to recast uh, the boy, the yeah. main character, and gave him made turned him into a hunky, dreamy. Really, um, they brought um, the original actor back for the other sequels, though, right? That's the thing I remember. Yeah. I mean, the, the the boy in the first one, you're just like, oh my god! I could, you can't even tell the difference between him and one of the little troll things. Like, yeah. really? He's so fucked up looking. <laughs> yeah. He's really. It was back in the '70s when you could, uh, you didn't need to. He looked like thin Danny Partridge. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's and Danny Partridge on the Partridge family, not <laughs> yeah. not because now he's. That, I think that guy actually is thin now, but I meant he's all muscly and yeah, shit, like Roy. But I now. meant. Um, Wow, but yeah, I enjoyed those movies, and I think you saw them all. I saw them all. I saw. I, I mean, I saw the one you're talking about on cable, the th- the third and the fourth one. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you'll find um, you'll be able to to reach the the level of enjoyment as you, as you will in the first one out of any of the three. It's also like if you don't ha- if you're not coming from a place of nostalgia. You probably won't like it at all. What the first one? I think no, it, no, no. The no, not the first one. Like the third and fourth one. Right. 
Like sometimes you you know you'll like something shitty. Sure. Just only because you remembered it and liking right. it as a kid. And That's you right. haven't watched any of them yet. Um, no, I, I haven't had time. I mean, I just I put it on my pile of shit that I, that I <laughs> almost got them. Oh, was that a trap? <laughs> no, uh, not at all. <laughs> no, I got them, and, I, and they just sit there. And oh my god! You know how many? I mean, I am I I am so guilty, and my wife just is like beyond. Like she's so annoyed at this point of all the DVDs I've brought that have remained sealed yeah. that I haven't opened and watched. I mean, the good thing though is like at least now before I buy something, I'll check Netflix. And if it's on Amazon Prime, I have two, which right. is their version of Netflix. And if it's on that, I won't buy it. But Phantasm, I'm sure they're just like, what? Like, <laughs> we're not doing this. But the second one just got released on Blu-ray DVD. The other the other ones are on regular DVD. And you had just mentioned it recently, so I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I, I it. think you'll... Uh, you said you have seen the first one. I saw the kid, first though. two, but first as two. a kid. I think, yeah, I, I think there's no doubt that they're one of the most um, imaginative... Um, just flat out different horror movies yeah. than the your than what I I can't stand that kind of like like that Jason kind of like character slasher yeah. yeah I see that's the shit I love we'll see I guess yeah I liked more of this where it's more like what the fuck's going on and <laughs> everything is just so weird and it's like, really strange yeah it's yeah. really trippy do you guys remember the story behind the tall man Ang- Angus Grimm right yeah he was uh, like a 16th or century butler was or not, or, uh, not a butler uh what's a guy uh li- limo not a limo driver but a he drove driver? for her oh okay yeah, yeah or something like that um yeah but i mean that's like the like you that's the era of uh anything goes mm. when that was made and now i remember it's cookie cutter watching it on my grandmother had a black and white uh-huh. Television in her basement, and we used to go down there like after we ate dinner, we were bored hanging out with adults, and it wouldn't come on Channel Eleven, like, and it was edited to shit. That's the only way I've ever seen it. So buying it, I was just like, I instantly brought me back to that place. So I was just, I don't know, and you know, yeah. If you I'm don't always get, looking for ways to connect with Wolf Flanagan if you too. Don't, if you don't, <laughs> if you don't find that first one enjoyable, I'll be surprised. Really, there's so much <laughs> in it that's like the sets. The look, the look, the feel of the film, the colors, yeah, the um, just the whole vibe is um, is so enjoyable. And then you'll see as it goes on, though, they can't recapture that. And, and yeah. most most filmmakers can't, though. I mean, it's an almost impossible task. Mm. Yeah, and he did all the rest too. The, yeah. the same dude. Yeah. Cusco oh yeah, he guy. did. Right. I started watching them. Um, <clears throat> like uh, the problem is, like I can only watch it because I because I put it on when I go to bed. And I end up falling asleep, but I've been watching that Crystal Lake Memories, oh, yeah. which is a documentary about all it. So I'll get through like a film and a half before I conk out. Um, pretty fucking well made documentary. It's really well done, yeah. right? Yeah, I agree. Uh, it follows the making of every Friday. Each, okay, team. but it's it's a four hour documentary. It's, it's really good, man. Like there should be no fucking bit of information left untold after a four hour documentary. So. I don't think so. Yeah, movies. I agree. <laughs> <clears throat> they they're pretty extensive about it, but it's interesting. Like I didn't know that uh, in part two, no, no, part one, uh, everybody knows Kevin Bacon was in it, but the other main lead in it was uh, Bing Crosby's son, which I didn't know. Really? Yeah, like Tom Crosby, whatever the fuck his name was. Oh yeah. Yeah, little bits like that. You know, he just <clears throat> didn't we cover this in the Christmas pod? Bing was beating people's asses and shit. Who? Like, <laughs> Bing <laughs> Crosby? <laughs> was he? It was last year? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Okay, well, I'll, I'll I'll watch them and. Uh, well, just watch the first one. Yeah. At least, and then. Well, I bought them all, so I might as well watch them. Uh, I imagine. I I bet you you'll you'll be hard pressed yeah. to get to, to get to four. I bet you get through the first three, and then you're like, oh, I'll watch number Fuck four this. sooner or later, <laughs> and it'll wind up in that pile of. Yeah, I'll bring them on the road with me. That's what I'll end up doing. Is like bring them to the hotel rooms with me and watch them. But cool. Very nice. All right. Reggie Bannister still enjoying. Uh... Do you think he's got storied career? Teddy Batone, what's his name? Joey Fatone. Joey Fatone money. Oh, he's Rangers. got so much fuck you money, it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much money this guy's got. The Fatone's bald ice got, cream man. But I'm assuming if you're in, if you're in insane, like, maybe you know, possibly they don't have anything. No, I mean record I deals so. back then, and, and they were literally the biggest band on the planet for like four years. I, I think that he's got a lot of money. I think, although what was it? That did, guy did get arrested, right? Uh, yeah, but that was only their first album. His producer, yeah, the producer. But again, like they toured nonstop for four years, and you're talking arenas. Isn't one of the yeah. who's the most famous person coming out? Justin Timberlake. Yeah, 
He's still going. He's, he's still going. He's still at going. the height, he, yeah. He's probably... Is, was he the main singer in that band even back then? Well, this you have to understand that all my in-sync knowledge is, is I'm learning. Like, uh, it's based on what go. Joey Fatone told him <laughs> the other day. <laughs> uh, it, I, it looks like there were two lead singers, basically, and then the other guys were back, back up, up slash dancing dancers. And it was uh, Justin Timberlake and the other guy. But uh, little known fact that Brian Johnson directed a member of NSYNC in a short film years yeah, and years ago. Yeah, Chris, Chris Kirkpatrick, when we shot uh, a short film here in Red Bank, um, Muse was in it. And he was talking to that guy, Kirkpatrick, who was another member of NSYNC at the time. And the guy was a huge VSQ fan, so he came down to Red Bank to sort of check it out and see what was going on and mm-hmm. he did a cameo in the short film that we did what'd you do with that film I don't know I, I don't saw know the light of day no. as far as, as where I is it now I don't know I don't know no who one knows where the stock is Sal might or Joe Gatto might they were involved in it but uh, yeah, I just I got know. the feeling that it didn't turn out great and nobody was really that happy with it I don't remember the um, do you want to announce your Oh yeah, website? okay, good. Yeah, so like last last week, we had mentioned that uh, if you order the Impractical Jokers season one DVD, which uh, both Walmart and Amazon sold out of, sold so, out, sold out. They had to order more. What so, do you mean they're online sites? Si- they're sold online out? sold out. They ordered. I don't. I don't know. They, they may have ordered ten copies. They may have ordered ten million copies. They, they definitely didn't order ten million <laughs> copies. You might have. You might have Joey Fatone right, right now. Wait a minute, though. Walmart fuck and who? Walmart and Amazon. Amazon sold, sold out. out Amazon of never sells out. Sure they do. Are you trying to hype it? No. Oh, I'm uh, really stunned by that. And you're not? No, I don't think it was I don't think it was an initial I don't think the initial pressing was very large. Um so That's amazing. That's that's It's pretty good. It's great. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. They they saw they ordered more. I think by the time everybody hears this, it'll be back in stock. It'll be in stock uh, back in stock on December second. Is that what it says? That's what it says, December 2nd, 2013. Oh, there you go. Wow, congratulations. Inside. You think everyone ordered it uh, based upon last week's telling? I hope Tuesday? so. You know, I mean, that I would be... a lot of people did. Yeah, I bet, I bet so. I mean, we got a lot of, like, the Impractical Jokers Who do we fan. talk to about our cut is basically what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, we could discuss that when we discuss the cryptic moment. No, I, I was going to say, I don't get I'm just like, I'm out of you. I don't know. You don't owe me anything. <laughs> um, so, and we didn't get a cut of Cryptozoic Man either. It's <laughs> all right. If it makes you feel better, I'm not getting a cut of the Impractical Jokers. Either, so it's not a big deal. Why are we doing all this, man? Uh, I was going to say, everybody's we, like, We what? shuck and jive, and we don't got nothing to show for it. Literally get nothing out of it. Yeah. <laughs> We're hustling for the man. Um, but we said if you send a copy of I asked them to get me a free soda. You wouldn't even get me a free soda to serve taco. Q? Yeah, it's like, just steal me a cup. And so like, oh, you want to do it? Yeah, we're going to steal a cup. I don't know. Just tell me, like, you like, I dropped this cup. Can I get another one? And they would have gave me another one. But I said to you, I'll just buy you one. And you said, no, forget it. You don't want it. That's how we get over on the man, though, man. Yeah, but it's yeah. 99 cents. I'm, I'm willing to not risk alienating the you have to people. You fucking pissy I, bathroom. You should at least be allowed to get I a free soda out of it. All right, so go ahead. You got your... your, your, your t- okay, so we said take a picture or of the receipt or send uh, forward your receipt for buying it from Amazon uh, or any uh, online outlets to... A website, uh, an email that we'll set up, and we'll send you a bonus pod. Right, sometime in February, right? Uh, said, I think that's more. Than, I think that's enough yeah. time for you to buy and, and oh, get great. their photos in. Now, are you a concerned about photoshopping, Q? I'm not. You should be. I, I should be. Is there a way around it that you know? <laughs> <laughs> Is he concerned? About, wait a second. Are you concerned about what? Photoshopping. Oh, Q being photoshopped? No, the receipts being. Oh, the oh oh oh, like chicanery. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm not Ooh. that concerned. No. I would ask for them to also send in credit card information. Authenticate it. <laughs> <laughs> With CVV, <laughs> social security number, and mother's maiden name. Okay. To get this bonus part. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second! I, I just Amazon's numbers just jumped up because of returns. <laughs> they now have 400 copies available. <laughs> I will tell you this though that yeah. uh, Ming has Photoshop detecting software on his computer. Oh, he does. So okay. we will be safe. Uh, all right. Oh, well, good. Because I was very worried about that. <laughs> um, so I set up the website. I mean, the, why do I keep saying that? The email. F- the email. And it's uh, tesdjokers at gmail.com. 
T E S D Jokers. Yes, one word. At, at gmail.com. Gmail. And you that. will be monitoring this and well, what I collecting a database. Is that emails. I won't look at it until January, uh, February. But yeah, send it in there. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, to whatever email that you send, I guess, send the code out to download it? Uh, well, by that point, we'll have had all our bonus pods out. So the uh, the the model plan yeah. will we'll have been figured out by probably the fourth pod because I don't know if you know this cue with the fiasco pod. Yes. Broke the internet. Broke the internet? Yes. We're responsible now for fixing it up. <laughs> oh, shit. Why, so many people went to get it? Some and- people tried to download Dropbox that um, he said that like that. The, yeah, he said it was it's a big deal. It's like, it's definitely... Except we made zero dollars from it. <laughs> yeah, again. That's the big difference. Everything that we do is on a huge scale that garners nothing. <laughs> a lot of bang, no buck. Yeah. Uh, it's the equivalent of that little boy who knocked the giant out with a, with a pee. Okay. David. Yes. Yes. That's what he said it was like. Oh. So we could do it again with the Impractical Jokers bonus pod. I can't wait. Uh, totally and now good. you have now the pictures that people send in. Yeah, are you are you anticipating um, jokes? Since it's in your eyes are the impractical jokers and practical joke style like pictures where you're gonna have to look at nut sacks uh, and stuff. I got no time for that. <laughs> if you send the photo of your nut sack, <laughs> you are be disqualified. <laughs> No way! Yeah, I can't. Come on, the guy goes the extra mile, I, puts the, the, look, tapes the receipt right to his nutsack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Band- <laughs> That's a dick move to disqualify. Him like that that is, care. man. <laughs> where's the fun? Where's the where's the Joker I once knew? That's what- <laughs> He's all serious. Him and Joey Fatone now. <laughs> Pondering life. <laughs> the, 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 the practical Joker season right. one. Yeah. You would have been. You would have been like, yes. Not sacks of plenty. Tape the receipt to one side of your ball sack and the other side of your asshole and send it to me mm. in two parts. Really? I would have been that way, huh? <laughs> yeah. No more though. Nope. No. It's, it's, it's all business, man. It's all business. Wow. Yeah. I mean, don't get yourself banned. <laughs> Don't send the nuts. And on back. the impractical jokers bonus pod, we're gonna do. We're gonna get. An, we're gonna get. Not only Q, we're gonna get a Sal on the appearance, right? Yes, now. Sal. Uh, Sal will come in and do it. That's nice. So we could grill him about, and then we'll come up with some games, some impractical oh, yeah. jokers inspired games. Yeah, we'll come oh, up with now something. I'm excited. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be a good time. So. Now, you, as you recall, yes. I already have my copy. I do not need to send You do not need it. Soon. That's right. Okay. Uh, TESC jokers. <laughs> so you could you could send me a picture. You're nuts, Walter. Not, <laughs> not worry about being disqualified. Uh, TESC jokers at gmail.com. Send it right in, and uh, we'll go from there. And, and just one last topic and one last comment about bonus pods. I know there's people out there who ordered via the phone, and... Um, if you have not got your fiasco pod and you ordered over the phone at the stash, just email kmuse2 at gmail with your name and address, and I will respond to that. Um, and you know, and Declan will be able to hook you up if only if you ordered over the phone, mm. um, because I did not get emails the first time around. So this way, well, if you haven't got your fiasco pod, just drop me an email at kmuse2 k m e w e s two. Get you sorted on that fiasco pod. Beautiful. Am Give, I, uh, what, go, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. So we're giving away bonus pods like they're Monopoly money. <laughs> May as well, they're worth as much. <laughs> 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 I was. Uh, we, we were talking about Declan earlier, even before the the mics went hot, as we say. In the yes. Biz, uh, <laughs> how much everybody loves him. I gotta say, for the first time, mildly annoyed me yesterday. What? So mild. That I didn't even tell him. What had happened? So now I can hear it right now. Um, some uh, people on Twitter where uh, somebody said something, and uh, I went back and forth right. for a short, you know, oh, for yeah, a, a couple tweets. I have, I have couple an issue tweets. with you about Twitter, but let's okay, keep go ahead. going. No, no. Um, and uh, this, is, uh, this is what uh, Declan said. Who are you annoyed at again? Declan. You're annoyed at Declan? Mildly, almost a not, almost immeasurable. 
Wow. Because, because he's back so much goodwill, and he's such a... I, I, I like him quite a bit. Actually, I wasn't even annoyed at him. I was annoyed at, at, what, at what he said. What the fuck? Okay, here you go. Uh, please don't give those pricks airtime. They're attention-sinking parasites, so it just gives them what they want. Someday they'll be completely forgotten. That's the ultimate punchline on them. So he wrote that to you? He wrote that to me. Private message? Or? No, text. Text. Um, it, it, it Because... I don't tell anybody what to tweet right on their account. Never. It would never occur to me to be like, but first stop saying don't uh don't feed the trolls. It's the oldest most hackneyed fucking cliched. But it's probably accurate. Anti-troll thing. Right. At this point, sure. Okay. Um and uh I just I don't want to be told. I don't want to so be Declan told. told you what to do. He told me like what to it. do. Yeah, no, I just I I I'm just like let me let me let me do what I want with my Twitter account. Let me do what I let me do what I want. <laughs> you know, I don't understand. And, and I also I pointed out. I said, look, if it, if it weren't for for me battling with Twitter people here right. and there, we'd never have Major Wally. That's true. There would be no fables. Yeah, I don't, yeah you're right. So here and there. So Walter, uh, Walter, Walter you. Uh, no, not Walter. Uh, Declan. I don't even know what he's talking about. So 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 mild as to like wow. said, to almost be immeasurable. Um, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And to me, it was just, I don't know, there was one person who, uh, I'm not going to, I won't name their name, but out of nowhere, but really, like, totally out of nowhere, uh, said something about that, tell them, uh, what was it now, tell them Steve Dave uh, are faggots. Oh, faggots. Faggots, and we don't get any pussy. Which to me, I my point was, well, faggots weren't one pussy, right? right? Like, yeah, so, it's one or the other. Um, I would be upset if I couldn't get any, yeah, like a dude ass or or dick or balls. Then then that would make sense. In this day and age, if you're leading with calling someone a faggot, you're instantly exposing yourself as a fucking kind of a moron. Not only are you a moron, but who's offended by that? That's Who a- the fuck? Like, can you imagine? Like, if I came to you and I was like. It, it makes more sense that I'm annoyed that Declan's like, don't tweet back to people. Yeah. <laughs> then if some, if I came to you, I was like, you won't believe this shit. Somebody called me a fucking faggot on the what? internet. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's, it's inconceivable. Wait a minute, they weren't referring to me, though, were they? Oh, you're part of Tell Steve You're part of Tell Steve Dave. I think he's just, no, I'm not. I think he's referring to Brian Johnson on Twitter. <laughs> no, actually, Twitter. you know what? I'm sorry. Um, it was comic book, man. It wasn't even Tell Steve Oh, shit. I'm out on this. Uh... Whoa! What's that, you? you, sir? I don't, I don't like that. I don't want anybody uh, calling me names like that. So, but what do you want me to say to him on your behalf? Uh, oh, on your my behalf. You want me to call him a faggot? Um, <laughs> really put him in their place? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you need to. I don't know. I guess this I, person. I, I guess I, it doesn't serve any real purpose other than make you look like a irrational and uh, like so like petty as to care what what some people think you know right it'll never really change an opinion really no well my 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 tweet back to this person um it was in regard to you know like they have a profile and shit and they had a whole bunch of you know their nonsense and their information and it says this person and this person follows me i guess all right if somebody famous somebody of significance yeah if somebody somebody of significance follows you, you put that in your profile. Okay. And all I wrote was that this person that they mentioned uh, follows 167,000 people, so I didn't think it was a, Not that a profile-worthy post. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't think so. Yeah. And that got them all riled up. Well, when they, they got did upset that, by that. <laughs> did the Tell Him Steve Dave Army jump in? Because those guys could be fucking vicious. Uh, I believe so. I I didn't I didn't spend enough time to really yeah. like, despite fucking Declan's worrying. <laughs> um, I didn't spend enough time uh, looking at it to even know. But it did appear f- from some of the stuff that they said that the the army uh, went in head first. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them very recently go after people like brutally. Yeah, brutally, <laughs> possibly illegally. But uh, I was all, I was in all support of it. I at, le- at least threateningly. Uh, yeah, I uh, army ants. Yeah, the army ants went. They went fucking nuts, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I thought I thought shit was gonna go down, but it, but it looked like uh, 
I, I saw. Um, you can't. You can't. Can, um, I, I say, go for it. Right. Oh, well, that's what if I said. Passion, I, if they're passionate about it, apparently somebody who was. Cares if they break I don't want to go. Loss. I don't want to go into. I don't want to go into <laughs> details of the situation because I don't want to give okay. power to the, to it. But uh, some one or two members of the Tom Steve Dam, TSE Army, reached out to me and were like, "Hey, man, somebody's talking shit." Okay. About you. About me? No, no, me. Okay. Uh, in this pl- in X place, what do you want us to do about it? Right. And then they were like, we can post their personal information. Like they were. No they were way. Like, yeah, they were like going crazy. And I went and like I four chan types. Uh, yeah, they them. were like. Oh, we got four chan on our side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I anonymous. said we got, to anonim- them, oh, yeah, we got anonymous on our side. <laughs> God, our own little version. <laughs> and I said to them, <laughs> like, I said, uh, you know. Yeah, but that's crazy. Do you gonna? It's spooky though because yeah. what if we say something that one army doesn't like, then they turn it on us. Then it's scary. Well, that's With great like power comes great cocktail. responsibility, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. We got a lot of power here. How do we yield it, Q? I mean, like a sledgehammer. Let's just speak softly and carry a big stick, man. Like, like I told them, I said, do what you want. I said, uh, you know, I go because I was like, uh, you know, some people deserve it. But uh, I think they got the board shut down. Like the they fucking brought the whole thing down. Really? So it was good. It was good. Mm. First fucking uh, Dropbox. Now this this yeah. this board. We're, we're this mystery we're, board. We are we are <laughs> we're slowly climbing the the significant ladder. Mm-hmm. Before you know it, we'll be more popular than Ashley Dupree. <laughs> Uh, the, then there was a second guy who, for whatever reason, uh, a, a lot of people who work at comic book stores like to believe that their store is the one that should be on TV. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that we're, we're assholes and that the, uh, they make all comic book, we make all comic book stores look bad. We make all comic book uh, fans look like idiots and blah, 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 and all that other shit. Uh, it's, it's so old and tired and it keeps, sure. it keeps getting trotted out. Um, and uh, I it made me think though it, that coupled with we had a discussion earlier about what the numbers were on on comic book men, but uh, this morning they had a a um, marathon of I, I cannot believe it was only one season because I just looked and it was only one season of the Mall Cops, the Mall of America yeah. Cops, and we talked about that a while ago on the show. Um, but when I was sitting there today and it was on, I. It, it truly was like, and this is no disrespect to the the brave uh, mall cops that are protecting the Mall of America, right. but it really did make me think. I was like, "This is it! Like, this is what those fucking idiots are looking for: the daily routines right. of a comic book store. What they think is going to be interesting to people, yeah. um, which would be like if you well, know, they did film it." What's they that? did film all that stuff, the daily routines. They definitely wanted that. They they mm-hmm. made an effort to get it in season two, and not one bit of the, not one minute of that footage was shown on TV. No, no. Only got eighteen minutes in a half hour show, or maybe even less. Twenty two minutes. Twenty two minutes. Yeah, twenty one and a half. Yeah. Um. So you're not gonna. I don't. I don't. You're not gonna get those day daily day to day chores that are so mundane and so. Unentertaining. Who really cares about like boxes coming in from Diamond, or who cares about um, who cares about? The that answer stuff? is no one. No, to, to nobody. The interest gives a level, shit. yeah. I mean, it, I don't know. And you're only telling you're in telling this on this podcast, though. You're not hearing those people who are complaining aren't hearing it. Yeah, no, I'm complaining about them, not to them. <laughs> yeah, but you're not hearing your, but you're not. But you're That's answering like an important difference. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but you're answering their their complaint of like you don't show enough real life store footage yeah well this is about you know what we talk about the, these these the, the listeners are eavesdroppers <laughs> there's really by law shouldn't even be listening right now <laughs> you know, it's, like one of the it's a personal thing. conversation well, what, about, yeah. what about the Christmas one that they paid for that one yes <laughs> <laughs> it's a legally binding contract <laughs> um, so can I I got sandbagged you got sandbagged on Twitter by, by, no, by me no. by you last last week what did I do to you you fucking read me tweets, got me all wild up, and didn't fucking tell me who they were by. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, you just read what? random fucking <laughs> tweets, and it got me all pissed off. And then, uh... <laughs> should it matter who they were by? I guess it shouldn't. It didn't. It didn't really matter to me in the long run. But I just think it was funny that you got me annoyed. 
<laughs> and pissed off at someone's tweets without telling me who they were. You read them like they were just random out of nowhere ones, and they, they were not random out of nowhere oh, really? ones. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, why, and why did you feel sandbagged, though, by that? No, I mean, you could have, like, why wouldn't you tell me that, hey, this is someone that you know, This these are their tweets? <laughs> what, is it get them? No, it's not good. It's actually no one I've met in real life, but I but it just. Was well, it Maxwell? Uh, it's a tell him Steve Dave, a former tell him Steve Dave listener. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what you're talking about. He just starts reading at the tweet. very end when he got really riled up and started calling people names and shit. What was I doing? <laughs> I think I you were probably this. just sitting back in, in shock. But no, I don't remember this. Yeah, I was I was in a fucking mood, so I was going off. Mm-hmm. And at the tail end, this guy fucking starts reading. Well, let me read you tweets to see we respond to this. <laughs> and it was a fucking. <laughs> and what this former tell him Steve Dave listener said something that got you annoyed, and now you're Did, no, it didn't get me annoyed at all. I was just was shocked that that's those were the tweets I was responding to as 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 opposed to just a random <laughs> quasi. What, what can you refresh me? What were they about? Um, I can't actually. I don't even remember. Do you, do you remember now that you're you're recalled? Uh, it, it was I, I'm I'm I don't even know if I should mention it. Every every time I do, it's uh, I, I see that I should be crediting this person. Okay. Uh, as if like you know I cited their uh, master's thesis right, or something. Right. right? Okay. Right. Not a fucking tweet. <laughs> um, it was uh oh it was in regard to are we allowed to have standards, uh, and the. Tumblr artist who went and filled in a uh, Frida's fucking mustache. Oh, that was it. Brow. That was it. And uh, we're we're not allowed to find that unattractive, I suppose. Yeah, you got me wild up on that yeah, one. You got all worked up about that. And, <laughs> I don't know. know. Personally, I thought you were out of line, but hey, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I, I would have tempered my opinion, but uh, you know, I might not have made my opinion even. So you well, got you're, me you're, you're, um, you heard back from this person then? Uh, I was pointed out to me. By and someone. this person was unhappy with yes, your reaction? unhappy. Yeah. yeah. But she's a former listener. I mean, a former listener is is what's really there. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. I, the thing that I found funny was that Brian set me up like that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that's all I'm commenting on. I, I, I think it was funny, and I probably would have done the same thing in your your yeah, position. I'm sure you now, why do you point. know why they're a former listener? I think because of shit like that. <laughs> no, no, it was actually because of Q. Well, <laughs> why? Yeah. It why was, happened? It was. <laughs> it's so cryptic. I don't know. Who are we talking about? Are we talking about Gideon? Are we talking about Matt? We're not talking, talking about, about It's a female listener. Oh, a female listener. oh, oh somebody. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Q originally couldn't uh, bear the. Um, <laughs> it was during the, the Newtown, the Sandy Hook uh, shooting. Right. And this person uh, felt the need to, to tweet that their Twitter account would be dark for the next. Uh, the following hour, uh, in honor of the the victims of okay. of the right. tragedy, which Q, you uh, went, you were very upset by that. I you found went, that I went, found that incredibly you went off, disrespectful. Yeah, and yeah. you went off and you said it like just shut up and don't talk about your what you're going to do. But, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, that was powerful shit. Yeah, to me mm-hmm. that was like, and again, I don't even think I I pointed. Like to you that. got me riled up, man. I was, sure. I was pissed, fist pumping. Of course, it's a that. grief hawk. Yeah. It's just like let me take this tragedy and make it my own, and and might look at me and get attention from it and stuff like that. So, and they they didn't like that when you said no. that. And well, he also unfollowed them. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's a big deal to people in, in today's world. Oh right? yeah, unfollowing. Yeah. How crazy is that? Yeah. But so this person was like, okay. You made fun of my tweet. You unfollowed me. Right. I'm done. But I didn't call I'm her out done. by name. No. Back then. But evidently that seems to bother this person. Really? Yeah. That they should be mentioned for some reason, which I'm just not going to do. Sure. Just not going to do. But I but I was very careful not to because I didn't want to. Well, the, arm, the army ants are going to. Yeah, I don't want to put this person in the the line of fire or anything like that. But then you sandbagged me last week, and I, I when it was pointed out to me that that's what you did, I had a good chuckle about it. I I thought that it's it's 
worth mentioning on the show that you, you got me good. Do you like to see – how do you feel realistically, though, and, and not all kidding aside, a, a listener leaves the pack. They, they, uh, they go civilian. They're not in the Army no more. How do you how do you uh, how do you feel about that? I mean, is it a Fitzman or is it like uh, or is it like uh, <laughs> why why is Fitzman the uh, the one you go to because he's he's real old school, right? He's real old so school. So Fitzman was to be like, I'm done, guys. It's it's not fun no more. I'm not into it. It would make the me senator from Missouri we has yeah. Is, is I, I out. think I would. I would be a little bit like shit. We lost Fitzman. I was like, what happened? I mean, you saw my reaction when get him and stop fucking paying attention. <laughs> I couldn't take it. I can't take it. That kid doesn't give a shit anymore. He doesn't. Though. He does not give a shit. He just doesn't fucking care. And that bothers me for some reason. So uh, not so that Fitzman's like. Fitzman's done. like, listen, it was a good run, but you, you know, guys, you got yeah. I, I found other things. I found other podcasts to fill my. Oh, I needs. sell comics. But he wasn't saying it in a nasty way. No, he's just out. He's just like, yeah, I've moved on. Well, to me, that would be like if my girlfriend would be like, you know, I found other guys to fuck. No big deal. Right? Yeah. I've <laughs> grown. You haven't. Oh, I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it from this man. Would that be enough to make you go like, uh, I think it's over? So our our whole podcasting thing depends is is just on Fitzman. it hinges on Fitzman's opinion. Uh, what well, kind of I bet you Fitzman right now is just like is shaking his head going wait am I hearing this right? I can make or break these guys. Uh, these guys who fucking destroyed the well, what's the name of that website? I'm assuming we 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 lost. Uh, many listeners. I'm assuming we gained a We've, lot of listeners. Yeah, We've I lost bet you, and you lost and gained. I mean, I'm sure it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, like any other form of entertainment. But um, I hate to see anybody say they've had enough. Can yeah. we and win? If we, and, if you, and if, I think if anybody, a returning pack member, we should do a bonus pod for. <laughs> <laughs> if you can prove to me that you left, Oh and my come God. back and come, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> they get their own personal bonus <laughs> Oh, my God. You Minimum of two hours. <laughs> we did a personalized pod for someone once. Remember we never that? did it, though. We never did it? We, we, never, went around, we never actually got around to doing it. <laughs> we promised it and then never uh, delivered. Well, but, yeah, I don't know. I mean, again, like, maybe there's people out there, maybe the Army... And this is a way to make up for, you know, make up, but like to show that, you know, just like the army doesn't just go out and kick ass. Right. But sometimes they deliver like supplies and rations and food, you know, to people. <laughs> right. Maybe Peace they missions. Can, maybe they can, the army can now go out and try to um, recruit former members via, what's it called? The online media. But how would we know if they even left us? It'll be like, if you don't come back, we'll release your personal information. <laughs> <laughs> they have to send a screenshot on their iPod. Every week. <laughs> we don't give a fuck if you listen, but you better don't. <laughs> uh, it's the it's, it's TL, tell them Steve Dave Army, of course. We, we'll give you a chance to do it the right way. <laughs> and, all, and also remember we were talking uh, you Q weren't here one day but I was telling you about iTunes reviews yeah and you said it doesn't matter I got somebody who works for iTunes emailed Whoa. me and said iTunes reviews matter and it mat- and a lot of uh, sponsors look at iTunes reviews really oh, so, why don't we just check out what our reviews are they're good they're but good we need more though yeah. Oh no, I didn't think it didn't I matter in terms of like, coming. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of if you get like one star reviews across the board. I want to be the Walmart of bonus pods, man. Yeah. You get down every aisle, there's just fucking fat ends, like you know the fat ends of the of the. Oh of the yeah, aisle. the end caps and shit. Yeah, I yeah. just want to be the like the podcast that just just does bonus pods like almost every week. <laughs> <laughs> just, so just, just every week is a bonus pod. <laughs> I don't want any of my strip club fan ends. <laughs> Not the North Pole? No, nah, no. Nah, oh, oh, wait. wait. <laughs> North Pole's a good idea. That is man. a great idea. Yeah. You got to listen to the Christmas pod yeah, to get the yeah. North Pole joke, but uh, it's worth it. But yeah, so any listeners out there who haven't done a, uh, an iTunes review, uh, could you, um, if you could take the time. Uh, uh, apparently, it means something. I've gotten word from iTunes themselves. Um, <laughs> Do you mean the same people that are like, we don't want to hear the ads in the fucking first place? 
What do you mean? Because <laughs> you're like, it helps with sponsors oh. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Huh. I, uh, I, we, uh, very early on, I, I, I badgered somebody to uh, come back. Really? Did they ever come back? They did come back. Uh, and it, then did they leave again? No, they didn't. <laughs> They're still with us. Uh, it was uh, it was a girl who it, there was a program I found like because it was when we first started Twitter, and it was some kind of program like it would tell you who unfollowed you. Oh, I remember. Oh, this. that's right. And it was a very short lived like we were going to call people out week after week. <laughs> <to laughs> oh, you know what we did was uh, Lucy. Are you talking about Lucy Muckinies? Lucy Muckinies. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she is that was, who you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, she she's was back. The first one to unfollow us. We uh, wanted to interview her on the show, and she didn't want to do it. She, uh, she did come back. She's still back. Have you, have you seen her picture? Uh, yeah, oh, she's pretty. Well, yeah, and she's she's, she's super British too. Pretty. Yeah. Yes, uh, I have had. Uh, I follow her. She's one of the few people I follow. On oh the yeah? Thing. yeah, yeah. I uh, because of that way back in the day when we were trying to get mm-hmm. her, I follow her in hopes that to DM her. And she just never answered any of my DMs. <laughs> and I was like, well, I fucking respect this. So I, I kept her. Yeah. yeah. She's an exquisite looking lady. Oh, there you go. She is. She's very pretty. I don't know what she looks like in real life, but her, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to piss her so off. So you th- who do you I think, you, what would be just a successful, um, what would be a successful recruitment to get back? If we, if we can get back. I mean, if we can get, get him back. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be fucking happy. <laughs> Uh, get him so the so the Tom Steve Dave Army should go after get him Steve Dave at get him. I Steve think they Dave. do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who we're missing. I don't know. I don't know, man. I I I. Well, we're missing that one person that you offended with the uh I've, the Twitter yeah, going dark. Yeah, but I didn't. <laughs> Let's get her back. Oh, I don't no, know. I don't want her back. No. I don't think we can get her back. Christmas is coming. The Christmas pod drops. You don't care about that that uh that purchase. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I do. <laughs> we try to win her back so she buys it and then go after her again. <laughs> it, it, it's too, like, honestly, to 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 be truthful, I, I think back and I'm just like, I don't understand how the fuck she ever liked this show in the first place. Because she's offended by everything. Oh, yeah. Seems to be offended. Every fucking thing you can imagine what, what offended, offended her the most about? What uh, was it? Uh, but the biggest thing that we did, or you guys did, that was the last straw was on following her. I guess. I mean, I guess you don't have it wasn't choice the but comments, to me. It wasn't about the, the, the one when Q said something about fat chicks. It wasn't when I said something about, no, that was about somebody the different. breast milk. It wasn't about... Um, no. None of that stuff. It was it just was you Q's unfollowed her. It was Q's... Uh, <laughs> Callous. Lack, lack, his callous. How and, is I callous? <laughs> and his, his lack Why of... Why couldn't you just follow her? You cost us. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, man, because like I couldn't take, I couldn't take that thing about. I found I, I was really offended by. Oh, that's right. By that tweet about about a moment of silence. We all make mistakes, Q. We do. Can we you do. find your heart to follow her right now? Maybe get win back a listener for us. Oh, well, that's this, up to Brian. This Thanksgiving season, can you do that right now? It's it's up to Brian. Uh, it's up to Brian. He's the one running the tell you, Dave. Uh... No, I think your own count. Oh, no, no. I think you could unfollow everyone and just follow her. <laughs> Zero interest in that. You Not even for a that. second did you he consider it. You won't even do that just, no. for, just for real quick right now, just for for a day, 24-hour follow? No. <laughs> what? 24 hours? You can't do that and you're fine in your heart? But what? This, right. this season of giving? Should we read her tweets to see if this is... Oh, God. I'll take a look. We'll, we'll bleep it out. What's the name? All right. O.J. Simpson, Walt, fucking not giving him another trial. No. That. That's got to be pretty terrible, huh? O.J. Well, I'm looking at it, and there's nothing. I can't do it, Walt. Come on, Q. <laughs> I can't do Give it. Give me an example why you can't. What is What was written that is that is making you go, can't do this? To um, win back some, to win back a listener, make them welcome them back into the fold. Here's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, I look. Well, here's here's like these two are right after each other. Ready? Hey, companies, please stop marketing things to me just because I own a vagina. Thanks. 
Okay, again with this, the feminist streak. Got I it. responded to that one. I'm actually. fine. And then the one right after it is seeking hot date for light up night. Applicants must be moderately attractive and have two legs of basic understanding of U.S. foreign policy. So how come she's able to request someone be attractive? But if you were to I say the same I thing about a made, female... It's probably done for irony. Uh, no, I don't, so. I don't think so. Oh, well, here's, here's, um, look, here, here's... Uh, this was on uh, International Mail Day. This offended me. Oh, that's her account? Mm-hmm. Save the um, mails and she's giving them... All right. Well, can't we build fingers. bridges for once? So much experience burning them, though. I don't think so. I don't think... You want to try, Walt? I mean, I... I thought, I thought maybe an effort here... No, he doesn't want to try. He wants <laughs> you to try. <laughs> I'm not the reason why we lost a listener. <laughs> Can we all agree on that? Yeah, I mean, in this case, I agree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know for a fact that I'm the reason we've lost other listeners. No, no, no. I'm just saying that in this case, you're definitely I mean, not uh, responsible. Yeah. Hey, can you? Because if uh, you can, I will. I will reach out to that person then. Okay. If you're willing to reach out to this one, I'm willing to reach out to a listener that may have said, "I can't listen to more because of that asshole Walt." I'm willing to go on bent knee and beg <laughs> for them to become a listener again. <laughs> 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 they all mean so much to it me, would man. Scare them. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Why are you doing this? <laughs> they all they all mean they're all like they're all like family that I never want to meet or talk to. Yeah. I have family that, <laughs> that are exactly like that. But they are all like family. I don't want to see any of them in, right. in a bad light or in a, or in a bad situation or if they're feeling down. I, you know, I want them all to be happy and I want them all to be listening and tell them Steve Dave. So who who do you know that I could contact that said like I can't take that dick no more? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know any, Brian? I don't know if any. Not offhand. No. Not offhand. All right, no. well, give us some thought. If you can, I promise. All right. I'll woo them back. You'll I guarantee back. it. Uh, yeah. Oh. Chocolates, flowers, <laughs> bonus pods, nylons, <laughs> like it's World War Two. <laughs> <laughs> A bonus box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you supposed to do? Not, not you, you know, not every, not every relationship can be maintained forever. Some people just don't you, see eye to eye. You can't. Mm-hmm. You know what? You, the minute you start saying it's okay to lose a listener, that's when you've lost your way, though. Yeah, but haven't we always kind of been like? I've always, I, even when I made your Wally, I told him. You remember, I was, I was steadfast to be like, you gotta like placate them. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta lube them up. You gotta make them feel like they're the best. You gotta make them feel like yeah, you care. You are. And that's what it's. It's. I don't know, man. Can't. Don't ever take it for granted. Do you care, Brian? Do you care anymore? How do you feel about losing a listener? Yeah. I don't really think about it. No. To tell you the truth, and uh, I, I, I kind of maintain the same uh, feeling I had in the beginning. I, I, I like it uh, if people want to listen. I, I like it when... I especially do like it. I don't really talk about it that much, but I really do enjoy it when someone says, like, uh, they've been having problems okay. or uh, issues. Uh, they've been down. They've been depressed. They've been suicidal. I just like that. I just, I just like to hear that. Sure. <laughs> no, uh, no, and that and that they that they could listen to us and it, it'll bring them up even if it's for you know the day or they have something to look forward to. You know what I mean? That's great. I, I, I do like that. Yeah. Um, but I maintain that that someone who uh, just has a personality that, that every single fucking thing offends them. Right. I don't. I honestly do not care if that person listens or not. I agree with that. You know, it's I just, say I say I'm like well, more the merrier. Everybody, come on, come all. Right. But you can only stay at the party if you're not gonna. Well, I think there's like be a little dildo. If right? you're not listening to this podcast with the basic notion that we mean twenty five percent of what we say, and the rest is kind of played for like laughs and shit like that, it's like. You don't get it. You know what I mean? You don't 
you don't get it. And to me, it's just like you don't, you can't play to an audience like that. You can't pander, Walt, to the people who don't get it because, like you said, we're a third rate podcast that fucking who listens to it. It's just like, but the people that listen to it are like our people. I like that. Yeah, that is true. I mean, if you get, if you get, um, if you get, come at me with that attitude, um, it, but still, though, man. Can't you just follow her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just think, you know, I think that, um, like he says, though, you, if, if you're trying, if you're, if the effort, if the goal is to make people feel good. Yeah. How good would it feel for you to come back and follow her right now? Not very good. <laughs> Not very good at all. And look, like, like in her That's defense, not even my goal. It's a byproduct. <laughs> in in her defense, I, I'm sure that if we randomly plucked shit from my Twitter, we would find shit that sounds equally, if not more, stupid. So it's a little bit unfair, perhaps we're being. I will say that. Okay. We're being a little bit unfair by like just cherry picking how we represent her. I imagine if she if she knew that you were referring to her tweets, she's not. A, she's not a, a a former listener. She has to be listening then. She's uh, it, uh, apparently someone tells her if we bring it up. But but what's really weird is like this person must know her. But you so know well she's that, gonna listen to this one. Sure, but this and is, I'm gonna come out and just say it. Go ahead. Please just become a listener again. <laughs> <laughs> Please. We're not willing to offer you anything in return. <laughs> Maybe, maybe if we can get them in here. I don't know. It's, no, no. No, you don't no, want to hear this side? No. I don't, there is no side to hear. No? Just come back. I promise <laughs> you yucks. I promise you a good time. Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's just assume that she's accepting and she's back. I guarantee. Well, I guarantee if she if she found out about last week, she I'm sure she's anticipating Brian bringing it up, and she was more on the money who did bring it up. Right. Well, I brought it up. Right. Because, oh, that's right. You yeah. brought it up. Yeah, because okay. of the, mm-hmm. the that's right. The tactics he used <laughs> to sandbag me. Into Welcome it. back. I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna tell. I know after hearing this episode how good it was. Right. She's back. She's back. Doesn't matter if you follow her. Doesn't matter if you don't follow her. Doesn't right. matter if you thought her tweets are idiotic or inane. <laughs> she's she's here for the entertainment. That's right. She she's here care. to stay. She doesn't care if you, <laughs> if you insult her or right. uh, make her feel stupid. Right. The the uh, the payoff is in the is in the fun and the laughter. Right. And she's back. All right. Wow. Just like that. I know it. <laughs> I know it for a fact. You watch. Look. Watch your feed. All right. I know you ain't following her, but I know you're watching her feed. I'm not. A, <laughs> you will be now. <laughs> I will now. I, I got to see. Let's, let's hope that you see just, like, if you're back, just tweet, I'm back. Okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> That'll be the code. <laughs> right? If this person's back, just tweet, at tell Steve Dave, I'm back. <laughs> and we'll, we'll retweet it. We'll yeah. retweet it to the masses so everybody knows that we repaired. If you're not back, right. just write, fuck off. I love it. I love it. It's great. All you need to do is humble yourself. That's it. Is that so much? Chief. Here's a uh, an early review. Oh, of? Of the Christmas pod. Ooh, from who? From who? Part of it, anyway. Someone says, I just listened to Tell Them Steve Dave's take on A Christmas Carol. Absolute genius. It may well be the funniest shit they've ever recorded. Who is this? Jay Sarge? Who is this? Uh, Troy. Our friend Ooh, Troy. How did, he, how did he get an early uh, version of that? Dude, you know, he has his ways. Troy's in, man. Troy's in? <laughs> Troy's in. Yeah. You can't get much more in than Troy. No. <laughs> All right. He loved it, huh? Says he loved it. Wow. How do I get a copy of it? You know, four ninety nine. On Bandcamp. <laughs> <laughs> he says it's the funniest thing we've ever recorded. It may well be the funniest shit they've ever recorded. It was pretty. I was pretty proud of the story we came up with. I agree, Q. It is, it, there was a certain... I mean, I, I got to feel, to be honest with you, the last couple things we've done, uh, I've actually... I told Declan it was a weird feeling. I was like, there must be what people call pride. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, I loved how the opening of the fiasco podcast... at least podcast, unashamed. <laughs> I was... I was in the, uh, and the Cryptozoic Man and the fiasco pod, right. I, I was actually... Um, I felt... They were worthy to go up against any podcast. I agree. The the opening of the fiasco pod 
when he threw in puck nuts. <laughs> Which I changed uh, because really? because he had I Sell Comics I saw in there. <laughs> and I felt and I said there's there's one member of I Sell Comics that, that if there's one more I Sell Comics joke, he may not be he may not make it into the new year. I really? said Yeah, he I think he's, he's one member of the I Sell Comics team doesn't doesn't have the same sense of humor. Uh, I can only assume and, he's talking about <laughs> <laughs> And he's not and you know, that's just his personality. Not not a slam, not taking taking the um Really? Uh, he's just a little bit more uh, more sensitive to the jokes, and I and and only so much one person can take. I mean, he in I saw comics has become the has become the ass of the uh, podcasting world. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean it's become? Don't, don't they sell keychains though? I don't understand. So I felt like you know what? Let's give it. Let's let's make fun of puck nuts. Wow. And uh, let's not go after. But I like how you you wrote that you poked fun at yourself, and I was like, you're making fun of Ming. You weren't making fun of yourself. No, I thought puck nuts was a fucking car wreck. My uh, you know my involvement, your involvement, Ming's involvement, Sunday Jess. All four of us were <laughs> horrific on that podcast. Oh, I loved it, man. I it, was it was a fucking... joke. It wasn't a sports cast. It was a fucking. It definitely joke. wasn't a sports cast. It was a sports cast until until I got into the sports crime or derailed it on somehow. But there was one moment where like you were truly trying to talk about sports and you were like, you know what the fuck, man? Like we're trying to talk about this and like, what are you talking about? Throwing bags of shit on people? Because <laughs> like somebody would rode by somebody else on a 10 speed and threw a bag of shit on them. <laughs> but I'm going back, but yes, that, I mean, I think we've been on a high. We've been like, we've been, uh, right. uh, we've been on a high creatively. Okay. And um, yeah, we wrote actual script for this. Yeah, so like I think that, um, and we're still still ascending. Right. The roller coaster. That right. is Tell him Steve Dave. Only well, took us four years to warm up and start going, but here we are. That's right. Well, what do we got coming up in the new year? We, I mean, Vinyl Cast Two is is that's I that's can't definite. That's definite. Yeah. We still got to do Making Hay Three. Yes. Well, that's got to be warm weather, right? We can't be out there. In the uh, I cold. think. I think. Please, cold I'm, I'm weather. begging you. Please, <laughs> don't don't drag me out there. Because I, I, I can't think cold take weather it. Weather would make everybody uh, maybe make. Well, we a have taken hay coming out. We don't. We don't want them on the heels yeah, of we, each yeah, other. Yeah, we don't want to cannibalize taking hay, do we? <laughs> we don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot fucking wait for taking hay. What are these guys doing? When is it coming? Uh, well, I mean, they still haven't gone out to the flea market yet. Jesus, I thought they did. I thought they were already on it. Hello. Uh oh. Hello. Yes. Can I take you to McDonald's? What are you doing that on the McDonald's? I mean, hamburgers. I can assure you. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Around the park. All right. What time do you want me to pick you up? I'll be there. I'll be there in a half hour. I'll be there at nine thirty. All right. All right. I gotta wrap it up at nine fifteen. Bless you, Q. That's your older daughter, man. Yeah. She sounds like a. She doesn't sound like a kid. She's not a kid anymore. She's a teenager. I mean, but she has like a like. She doesn't sound like a woman, but she doesn't sound like a little kid anymore. Like her voice is more of like a. She sounds like a little kid to you. Yeah, she still acts like a little kid. Yeah. Still, yeah. You got you gotta, still, still, it's still a little kid, definitely in terms of. Uh, well, that's good. Acting, acting, and doing things you're supposed to. Or, do or like, is that not good? We're like, yeah. God damn it! Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, yeah, you know, about just leaving shit everywhere and expecting mom and dad to clean it up. Yeah. Yeah. I deal with that a little bit. What yeah. were we talking about? Mm. Oh, well, we had to look forward to New Year? Yeah. Oh, well, actually, you know, they've taken hay, though. Um, mm. Mike has been hammering Ming to get out there and record, get out there to Collingswood and do it. Yeah. And Ming has just, like, been blowing him off left and right. Why? Cause, cause he's out. He's out doing at cons. He's he's out this week away for the holidays. Yeah. He's definitely, Ming does, Ming has got a full He's like I'm, I guess a little bit like like you. He's got a full plate He's got a at full all dance times. Card, huh? Does Ming own part of Rook Coffee? Because this guy goes there every day, according to his. Where's Instagram. that? At? I don't know. And he wears the t-shirt and the jacket all the time. I just want to, again, not making fun of Ming. Like, no. do, does he have an endorsement deal with Rook Coffee? Or How do you spell it? R O O K. Rook Coffee. Oh, there it is. Is that Red Bank? I don't think I've never heard of it. Well, you you don't spend a lot of time on Ming's Instagram. Feed. No, no. no. Okay. Ming, yeah, Ming's an enigma. It's racist, dude. Huh? Uh, oh, is it? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> yeah, Monmouth County, Oakhurst. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think Ming liked coffee. 
I mean, if you look at the pictures, it, it seems like he's the there coffee every day, right? Uh, what's it, why? What's he there for? It's not the coffee he's coveting, isn't he? Usually with a comely lass. Uh, oh, I don't think so. Uh oh. Hello. Hey. Tell her Uncle Bry's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> would you believe you hungry? if you, what's that? When's he not hungry? Yeah, right. <laughs> She's like, he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's like if you want to call that living, right? <laughs> <laughs> and the whole family just starts laughing around the Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> oh, good lord! Um, shit, so how let's wrap it again? up with something. So we. Oh, oh, oh we that's right. Okay, like, yeah. how long have we been going? Would this really be a two-parter? I don't think so. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good. You're coming. You, looks like you may need to come back next week. Yeah. Um. I don't know. What were, what were we talking about? Uh, we're talking about upcoming things to look forward to. and Upcoming for the for the new this. year. You know what I started doing? I, might, I was going to bring this up earlier, and then I forgot. Um, if if somebody... You know what I do now, Q? If somebody says something uh, nasty yeah. about me on... Uh, Twitter. Uh, I mean, well, <laughs> at least... <laughs> uh, yeah, not behind my back. <laughs> um, so, uh, Twitter. Somebody says something shitty about the show, whatever. Um I go to the IMDb, right, and I look at Tom Hanks's profile. Okay, and I look at that, and I'm like, if there are people who shit on Tom Hanks, are they really? Oh, fuck yeah! Saying what? Oh, he's, he he can't act. Tom he Hanks can't same, act. He can He plays the same character every time. Blah blah blah. All kinds of bullshit about Tom Hanks, who, by all appearances, I listen to him on a Nerdist podcast. Right. Seems like a really nice guy. Right. Really likes down to earth, cool dude. Okay. Could be total bullshit, but sure. it didn't seem so. He's an actor, don't forget. Yeah, but he's a shitty actor, these people are saying, so but I don't you know, know what the fuck not, to believe. Though. You know you, he's not. You, I've never heard a bad story about Tom Hanks, right? Like, you, you've never... Mm -hmm. It's so weird that you say this, because I saw that commercial for his new movie, and I and I was so smitten by it. Captain really? Phillips? No. Um, the new one? He plays Walt Disney. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's not a movie that I would, be, I would think I'd be smitten by, but just that trailer, I was like... Yeah, it's a good one. This is going to make... This People guy's with career. small hands cry. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> something <Jeff. laughs> And um, I, be, I bet you this movie's going to be awesome, even though it's got, it's got one of the most unlikeliest premises of a movie I would like. Right. But boy, did that really ca get me by the throat. And I was like, I want to see that movie. I don't know why. I mean, it just really made me really? go, I want to see this movie. I mean, how he woos the author of Mary Poppins. Right. To me, that that's. Oh, you mean he bangs her? No, 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 no. He just oh. tries to get her to a, to give him the permission to make the movie of Mary Poppins, and she doesn't want to. Oh, okay. And it looks really, really right sweet, and that's not really something I usually I am attracted to. But this does of you. Oh boy, I was like, I I was like, I told my wife I want to see this movie, and she was like. Really? I go. That doesn't look like a, the kind of movie you would <laughs> want to no see. There's no flying orbs. Yeah, with there's blood no, out of them. There's no superheroes in capes. Right. There's no monsters. Um, it, it, there's just some old dude trying to convince an older lady to publish a book. And I was like, boy, boy, I don't know, man. Something about it is screaming. See me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No aliens or anything. Man. Yeah. It's not like you. What's it called? Do you know what it's called? I'll look it up. It's Walt Disney. I should have it bookmarked Tom actually. Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, so that's what I do. I figure if if people can fucking say nasty shit about Tom Hanks, eh. they they're gonna say, say nasty, nasty shit about anybody. About beard guy. Has he? Oh ever fuck been yeah! What chance do I have? <laughs> Give a me a break. Scandal? Saving Mr. Banks. Saving Mr. Banks. Okay. What's about Disney? Ha no, no. Tom Hanks has he ever been involved in a scandal at all? Is he a Scientologist? No. Nah. If no. he is, he's not public about it. Born in California, Tom Hanks grew up in what he calls a fractured family. His parents were pioneers in the development of marriage dissolution law in that state. <laughs> wow, you really want to get divorced. Yeah, too. if you're fucking changing If you're the a books. pioneer and shit, yeah. Uh, he moved around a lot with a succession of step families. No problems, no abuse, no alcoholism, just a confused childhood. He had no acting experience in college and, in fact, credits the fact that he couldn't get cast in a college play with actually starting his career. He went downtown, auditioned for a community theater play, and was invited by the director to go to Cleveland. Where his acting career started, he met his second wife, actress Rita Wilson, on the set of Bosom Buddies. Huh? Remember that? You ever watch it? Yeah, Bosom I remember Buddies? watching yeah. that. Yeah, Dude, him show. and Peter Scolari, right? Yeah. Dressed up as a uh, woman to live yeah. in the... To live in the dorm, yeah. yeah. 
Could you do that today? Or would it be like... Oh, uh, you'd, be, you'd be walking a fine line yeah. of comedy of what would be sexist and what wouldn't be sexist. So you'd be, you'd be a dynamite. Right. Uh, powder cake. The powder and it'd cake. probably and be I know at least one person who would be a fan. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, come on now. We just got her back. <laughs> Dickheads. Come on, man. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Please don't go. Please don't go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's had any scandals, man. No, I, there was something with raising money, I think, for the president a few years back, but I, I don't know. I, that's a motherfucker who handled that career like a pro. Then Tom Hanks enjoys collecting typewriters. He's like, that's what that's what he's noted for. Yeah, that's, that's like yeah, that's very clear. Like in another context, though, that's fucking get him. Oh yeah. yeah. Right? If it's yeah. not Tom Hanks and that's get him saying that, we're like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the teeth out and the venom is flying. But it's Tom Hanks, you're like, Wow, he collects typewriters. Oh, one of these awesome. valuable ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's just like Tom Hanks is writes. He's he's written screenplays. He's what? Him, he's written screenplays. Did you say he's right or bright? He's a writer. Oh, okay. And bright. And uh get him doesn't even smoke. So, like, what the fuck are you doing collecting yeah, get Zippos? Get him his typing <laughs> manifestos. <laughs> uh, get, him, get him is the Tom Hanks that never was. Oh, the other side of the coin. <laughs> uh, the flip side, the fucking <laughs> two-face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can't I take can't that. That's what should be on his business care. card. I'm the, I'm the other Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, what does that mean? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's, no, there's no phone number. <laughs> Do you want to know some uh, some personal quotes? Yeah. Now, here, this, this is Tom Hanks. He can poke fun at himself. I've made over 20 movies, and five of them are good. All right. Uh, that's humble. Mm-hmm. You know he doesn't. You know he's not serious when he means it, though. You know he he means. I'm the shit. Yes. Come on. If you're funny, if there's something that makes you laugh then every day is gonna be okay All right. you, well, you know that's not true yeah. you know yeah, that's yeah. not true both of you can attest to that yeah. yeah I'm laughing my way into an early grave <laughs> um, old Flanagan family's laughing at me I'm not sure if I'm alive or not <laughs> they check the obituaries every day I do not want to admit to the world that I can be a bad person it is just I don't want to have false expectations. Mm. Movie making is a harsh, volatile business, and unless you can be ruthless too, there's a good chance you're going to disappear off the scene pretty quickly. So he has been ruthless. So appearances can be deceptive, particularly in Hollywood. He's wow. saying himself. He's saying, like, don't believe the, or the, he the has facade I've put out there that I'm Mr. Squeaky Clean. Mm-hmm. I've destroyed lives. Yeah, man, you know he's, like, burned a hobo alive. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, if I'm willing to do this. All right. Wow. All right. So Tom Hanks, more than meets the eye. Mm-hmm. All right. So we ready to wrap this one up, Q? I Unfortunately, guess. we couldn't All right. do we a two-parter, do? but... We'll try. Sure. Yeah, we tried our but, hardest. But um, we want to tell the listeners about one last time about Christmas. And... All right, let's do it. Why not? Do we didn't have any commercials this week. Uh, we do have a couple commercials. Do we have to do them? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Let's do them real quick. <laughs> uh, Hulu Plus, boys. That's TV on your internet, right? That's TV on your device, your phone, your what have you, as right. they say. Um, hey, I man. use it. I use it. Hulu Plus? Hulu Plus. Fuck yeah, man. Why wouldn't you? I fucking use it all the time, man. Um, you know, you, you, you run around or wherever you are, man. Your That's TV's true. with you. You know, you can, you can watch... Uh, you watch an entire season. So yeah. Let's say you're uh, in a hotel room all by yourself. Mm-hmm. Nothing but your iPad to keep you company. Yeah. I got to return this thing for a fucking regular size one. The mini's just not working for me. It's too little, huh? It's just too little. Give it to Sunday Jeff. It fit perfect in his hands. <laughs> yeah, <those> little hands. <laughs> oh, you don't know what we're talking about? Well, I guess you better get the Christmas pod then because... No, no, no. They got to get the fiasco pod. Oh, was that fiasco oh, pod? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Too many bonus pods. I know, man, like all over like Monopoly money, I told you. <laughs> what is it? Huluplus.com slash T-E-S-D. And uh, yeah. it's seven ninety nine a month, two weeks for free, so you can check it out. Make sure you like it. You know? Yeah. If you don't like it, fuck them then. Fuck off. I mean, I don't know how many times we've got to tell you about this Hulu Plus. I feel like every week it's the same. Yeah, it just seems It's the same ending. story. It just you seems know? never ending. 
So uh, just just get it. Just do us a favor and get it so we can stop talking about it and everybody can be happy. <laughs> you know? People don't want to hear fucking ads, then here you go. <laughs> well, if, if everybody gets if it. But if everybody gets it, then, we, well, then we're too successful and everybody wants to do more ads. Oh, That's true. All right. Nobody get Hulu Plus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. <laughs> no, do what you want. Yeah. What, do you, what, what do you want from me? Well, why don't you let fucking why don't you just talk to Declan? Let him tell you exactly what to do with your life. He seems real good at that. Life. Yeah, doesn't Declan know exactly what everyone should be doing? <laughs> you know, tweet this. Don't tweet that. <laughs> That's it. That's the one example. You know, have. fucking forty-five fucking years. I made it without Declan on my fucking shoulder telling me what to say. Yeah, but how much better is your life now that Declan's in it? I told you, man. He's a magic. I do sprite. enjoy. Yeah, I do enjoy that little sprite being in my life. That's yeah, true. He, he's good. He's good. I, he's my business partner too, so I don't. Why want to don't you just, just has to lay off haranguing me? About why don't you just do this? Okay. Just uh, for a week. Mm -hmm. Just before you tweet anything, send it to him first. Get his approval. <laughs> okay. And if he says it's good to go out to the general public, right? Good. And then let's see how. And let's see what kind of reaction you get back okay. from people based off Twitter, Declan approved Twitter tweets. Uh, all right. I like that. <laughs> That's a good idea, man. I think it'll probably work out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, I don't know. Tell him, Steve Dave. Yeah. This has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio. Sir, only at Smodcast.com. <laughs>